heart of this age of wonder stood a great city. Not in Greece or Italy, but here on the coast of ancient Egypt, in a place called Alexandria. Whilst the Romans thought of war and the Greeks thought of philosophy, in Alexandria they thought of thought itself. These halls once echoed to the footsteps of Plato, Aristotle, and Archimedes. But you might also have found another less well-known face here. He was not a philosopher or poet, but an inventor, and he almost started an industrial revolution 2,000 years ago. They called him Mechanicos, the machine man, but we know him as Heron of Alexandria. He didn't just dream of an age of machines, he built it. Two thousand years before our modern age, Heron was building his own machine age and in the process creating devices that still amaze us today. Today, none of his machines survive, and we know almost nothing about the man himself. But we do know about his marvelous machines, because Heron wrote books on how to build them, and incredibly, copies of some of those books survive. They open a window on the wonderful, mechanized world he knew. Stored in one of the modern world's great repositories of knowledge, Oxford University, it is still possible to find a copy of one of Heron's books. It is a rare document which gives a tantalizing glimpse of surprising ancient machines. Although the original is long lost, this 16th century copy can take us straight back into Heron's world. Within these pages, this master mechanic described his inventions and the sort of places you might find his robotic devices. Some were for the home, some simply there as entertainment for dinner parties. Others whirred and clanked away in theatres, producing amazing special effects. 